Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon if you're watching this later in the day. I am actually going to be live streaming tonight. After this video, I'm going to hang out for about an hour, answer any questions y'all may have, and then I believe, since y'all not even going to be getting tropical storm winds until early morning for tomorrow, I'm not going to, I'm going to go back to my Sabbath and enjoy the rest of my Sabbath. Amen. And a happy Sabbath to all of you that is enjoying your Sabbath today. Then when Sabbath is over after sundown, I will be getting my live stream in order. So I will be streaming for y'all probably at least 24 hours. So there won't be no upload on Sunday because I will be in the live stream. Hopefully all of you that needed to evacuate did evacuate. God bless you all and keep you all safe and your homes. And a lot of you, even your pets, don't leave your pets behind. I know a lot of people, including Deep South, you can't leave your pets. God bless you and Wanda, bro. I hope y'all be very safe. But I'll come on later tonight and I'll start streaming and just leave a tab open for me or come over and say hello. If you have any questions, I will be there to answer any question any one of you have for the whole time of the stream. God bless you all. If you've never been here before, hello, good morning to you. My name is Mark. I do upload every single day, including a tropical update every single afternoon. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. But it's honoring the Sabbath to save a life rather than to lose a life on Sabbath. So that's why I got the video going out for this morning, because there is a lot of life-threatening situations going on. But I believe in my heart that there won't be no life-threatening situation until I come on later tonight because it's still going to be in the golf even though you got bands whipping around to everybody. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am all year along. And thank you so much for all your beautiful comments. And thank you so much for all y'all help that y'all helped me reach people last night and got over, I believe, over 3,100 likes. I think that's the most likes I've ever had. Thank you so much. And please hit the like button again. I hope you have a very blessed day. Now this is high resolution rapid refresh so we can get somewhat of an idea of what could be going on. And a main problem that's going on is the levees. Is the, the eye wall is coming so close to the levees that if it went a little bit more to the east, it might even do structural damage to the levees. And that could be issues, especially what it predicting to be a Cat 4 on landfall. And according to high resolution rapid refresh, Homa, the eye goes right by you, so you could be getting the worst of the winds, including Baton Rouge. New Orleans is getting it bad, but if this goes a little bit more to the east, because you got your levees right here, if it goes a little bit more to the east, all these high winds around the wall will, I don't want to say it will breach the levees, but boy, it will put a lot of stress on them. Now, I'm going to read this real quick. This is an advisory from the National Weather Service. These are the changes to watches and the warnings that's going on with Hurricane Ida. A storm surge warning and hurricane warning are in effect for Ascension, Assumption, Eastern Orleans, Iberville, Livingston, Lower Jefferson, Lower Lafouche, Lower Plaquemines, Lower St. Bernard, Lower Terrebonne, Northwest St. Tammany, Southeast St. Tammany, Southern Tangipaho, St. Charles, St. James, St. John the Baptist, up to Upper Jefferson, Upper Lafouche, Upper Plaquemines, Upper St. Bernard, and Upper Terrebonne. A storm surge warning, tropical storm warning, and hurricane watch are in effect for Hancock, Harrison, and Jackson. A hurricane warning is in effect for East Baton Rouge, East Feliciana, Northern Tangipaho, Point Coupe, St. Helena, Washington, West Baton Rouge, West Feliciana, and Western Orleans. A tropical storm warning and hurricane watch are in effect for Amit, Pearl River, Pike, Walthall, and Wilkinson. Right now, it is about 520 miles southeast of New Orleans, or about 500 miles south southeast of Gulf, Gulfport, Mississippi. And it's moving 16 miles per hour to the northwest, so it's moving pretty fast. So if it slows down, it definitely will get a lot of strength. Uh, matter of fact, they showed a major this morning, but they took off one of the other majors because of that reason. So if it does continue to move fast, it won't have time to strengthen too strong, which could be a good thing. Now here's the whole situation overview. Hurricane Ida in the southeastern Gulf of Mexico will rapidly intensify as it moves northwest across the Gulf today. Ida is expected to make landfall as a major category four hurricane along the southeast Louisiana coast Sunday, bringing life-threatening storm surge flooding, damaging winds, and flash flooding to portions of southeast Louisiana and southwest and coastal Mississippi. 
conditions are currently expected to deteriorate tonight into Sunday. So all residents should rush preparations to complete today for this storm. And remember, if you don't have any gas in your area, use the Gas Buddy app. That's the name of it. It's called Gas Buddy. That's the name of it. It's called Gas Buddy. It'll find gas stations with gas near you wherever you're at. It's a really good app. So this is the latest forecast according to National Weather Service of, of what they expect the intensity to be so far. And I'm sure it will change, but this is what they have so far. Hurricane warning remains in effect. Storm surge warning remains in effect for Thibodeau, Raceland, La Rose. And the winds is equivalent Cat 1 hurricane force winds peak wind forecast 60 to 80 miles per hour with gusts up to 100 miles per hour. That's it so far. Window for tropical storm force winds Sunday morning until Monday afternoon. Window for hurricane force winds Sunday afternoon until early Monday morning. There is uncertainty in track size and intensity, so a potential for wind greater than 110 miles per hour. They also say to plan for extreme winds of equivalent Cat 3 hurricane force or higher. Now here's your impacts. Prepare for catastrophic wind damage. Move to a safe shelter before the wind becomes hazardous. Devastate and catastrophic stru structural damage to sturdy buildings, some with complete roof and wall failures, complete dis destruction of mobile homes, damage greatly accentuated by large airborne projectiles. Locations may be uninhabitable for weeks or months. Also, for those that are trying to stay, just so you know what it will be like afterwards, how bad it's going to be, your escape routes and secondary roads washed out or severely flooded. Flood control system and barriers may become stressed. Massive damage to marinas, docks, boardwalks, and piers. Numerous small crafts broken away from the moorings with many lifted onshore and stranded. And you can see this is the convection, the lower levels. It's trying to create the eye already. This is high convection around the lower center and you can see it getting darker all the way around. And this has been happening within the last hour it has been really ramping up and if you look on the mid levels you'll see it has no problem breathing as well this thing is a really good machine it's almost getting the center up there and the cloud tops are reaching way high in the atmosphere yeah it's definitely trying to get a center look at that last shot this is on the top this is in the middle and this is on the lower is definitely trying to get a center now so far they have it at 80 miles per hour and when it gets to 1 p.m today it's predicted to be a cat 2 hurricane and in between 1 p.m today and one o'clock in the morning tomorrow is when it's going to turn into a major hurricane and it's going to intensify all the way from one o'clock tomorrow morning all the way to one o'clock tomorrow afternoon they still predicting 140 miles per hour winds plus tornadoes today you have a tornado threat two percent and all this green five percent and all this brown and here's your towns right here who's in the tornado threat for today. Tomorrow, of course, there's tornado threat for Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, the panhandle of Florida. Here's your towns where they are. 2% is in the green and 5% is in the brown. We have Ida. We have the disturbance up here that's still going out to the northeast. We have the new disturbance 3 down here. This is the one that's going to come through the western Caribbean and get hit with the cold front. This was the second one so far. It's not looking good. We'll see what the updates can be. So far, it's going to be okay. But it's starting to group up with some energy from another wave. I will update that another time. And we have trop Tropical Depression 10. And Tropical Depression 10 is going to be a storm and go all the way up to Atlantic and disappear pretty much. And Hurricane Ida is predicted to intensify still by 1 a.m. on Sunday. And by 1 a.m. on Monday, still be a hurricane on land as it degrades quickly to a tropical storm, then a, then a depression. You're in tropical storm watch in this yellow. You're in hurricane watch in this pink and a tropical storm warning in this pink. And you're in hurricane warning for this red. Now here's another shot of it so you can see it. It is literally racing around trying to create that center eye. This thing is going to start ramping up and it's not going to stop. And if you notice, you got an upper level low right here by the western of the Caribbean. And this upper level low is actually moving to outflow from the hurricane that's going on in the east pack. So it's not getting no shear at all from that outflow. Nothing is stopping this 
hurricane from strengthening as strong as it can get. It is going through the warmest, deepest part of the ocean content today. And the outflow on it is just explosive. It is just highly explosive. This storm is going to be a bad one. Now the latest track does take it about 36 hours right around landfall, 24 hours. It'll be right out here whipping vans around. And by tomorrow morning, you're going to be feeling tropical storm uh, winds along the shore. But it will go all the way up to the northeast and go out somewhere by Maryland, Delaware, maybe by Jersey. Most of the ensembles are in agreement in 24 hours. That it would either be a strong Cat 2 hurricane or it would be a strong Cat 3 major hurricane. And the Cat 4 potential is literally right before 36 hours. Flash flooding levels have, have gone up. You got the marginal in the green. You got the slight risk in the yellow, the moderate in the red, and now you got a high risk right here in this pink. And all the way till tomorrow morning, your flash flooding risk for these green sections. Also for, till Monday, and all the way through Monday morning, that's when you're gonna have the marginal, the slight, the moderate right here, and the high risk. And through Tuesday morning, you still gonna have the, the marginal in the green reaching way up towards Tennessee, slight risk reaching way up towards Northern Mississippi, and you're gonna have the moderate risk in this red for more flash flooding. And the rain levels are almost about the same. They have gone up towards Kentucky a little bit more and a little bit more towards the Northeast. Uh, you, this is your rain levels. Light green is one to two inches. Dark green is two to four inches. All this yellow right here, all this yellow is four to six inches. All this orange is six to 10 inches. All this red is 10 to 15 inches. And this pink spot by New Orleans is 15 to 20 inches of rainfall expected. And most of this looks like it's offshore. This is kind of a mixture between what GFS and Euro seem put together. GFS brings it here, Euro brings it a little bit west. So they put both of it together. Your storm surge, Sabine Pass all the way to Pecan Island is two to four feet, three to five feet from Pecan Island all the way to Intercoastal City and Morgan City, it goes 10 feet all the way around to Miss, the mouth of Mississippi River for 10 to 15 feet. Seven to 11 feet from the mouth of Mississippi River all the way around to Ocean Springs. From Ocean Springs to Mississippi Alabama borders, four to seven feet. Mobile Bay, two to four feet. And all the way to Alabama Florida border is two to four feet. Lake Pontchartrain, four to, four to seven feet. Vermilion Bay, six to nine feet. And Lake Moripus, three to five feet. And your inundation, greater than one foot above ground is blue, three feet is yellow, six feet is orange, and above nine feet is red. So you can see you have the blue going along a little east of Lake Charles, all the way around by Lafayette, and then you're getting some yellow and some orange in there, so that means you're getting up to three feet and six feet. A little east of Morgan City, and especially around Homa, you have a big hot spot around Homa for one, one foot with the blue, three feet with the yellow, this orange is six feet, and all this red is up to nine feet of inundation from flooding. This Homa looks like a really bad spot. So also for the North Shore, you have one foot for the blue, three feet for the yellow, up to six feet inundation with all this orange. And it does go all the way up by wavelength with the yellow and the orange as well. Now to break down the winds a little bit, tropical storm force winds, 39 miles per hour or greater, you're definitely 100% in this purple, so you have to go to the next level. Then it goes 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, all the way to 10% chance for tropical storm force winds in this green. So if you're within this green or less, you're going to be feeling the wind gusts coming from the storm. Now who's going to feel up to 60 miles per hour winds? Now you can see that the 100% has gone a little bit less down below Louisiana. I'm sure all this will update you have 90 percent chance for all this dark red for 60 miles per hour sustained winds uh, you have 80 70 60 50 and then it goes all the way to 10 which is green so far since it's so far away i'm sure it will update and move more on land hurricane force winds of at least 74 miles per hour winds you have 80 percent chance in all this red 70 60 50 40 30 20 10 percent chance for hurricane force winds and all this green the latest run on the GFS has took it down to a 953, but at the same time, it shows at 953 for six hours. The latest on the Euro takes it down to a 952, so they are pretty much in agreement. And so far, the H-Wharf takes it down to a 940. However, all three models 
are pretty much in the same area. It is like a small wingspan right here of where it's going to come on landfall. Now, with the full track, there will be a lot of heavy rainfall, and you can see where it goes all the way up towards the northeast, and it does get a little bit heavier. It meets up with some more thunderstorms, stays strong a little bit, but it will be dropping rainfall for y'all. All that red up there is all the way up to three to five inches. Darker the red, the more of the rain. And it is going to cover Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, and go up towards Tennessee and parts of Kentucky as well. With the heaviest spot so far still being about 17 inches in this spot right here, 16 inches in this other purple, 14 to 15 inches in this dark purple. All this gray brings it anywhere from 10 to 12 inches of rainfall. All this brown brings it anywhere to 6 to 9 inches of rainfall. And all the red is all 2 to 5 inches of rainfall. And you got to remember, all this rainfall is not over a five-day period. All this rainfall is within two days. All right, guys, so God bless you all. Hope you all are prepared for everything that you can at least prepare for. I will see all of you later on tonight after Sabbath. I will get the stream started and then come on later tonight and answer any questions or any help you may need. If you need a shelter, a pet-friendly shelter, whatever the situation may be, I will be here for you just like I did on Hurricane Irma with Donation Kingdom. If you need any shelters, any information, I will be here for you. I know you'll be in your streams already. Just leave a tab open for me. Come say hi. Hope you have a very blessed day today. Hope all of you will be okay. Today I want to read Psalm 93. The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. Amen. Hope you all have a great day today. God bless you all involved. God bless your families that are involved, especially those that can't leave. I know how it is to not even have no nowhere to go, nevertheless, don't have the money to go. So bless you all. I hope you will be protected and very safe. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. I'll hang out for an hour if you need any questions answered. I love you all. Be safe, all. God bless you.